In our last videos, we talked about how to make a default template, how to include terms that would be available on all of those, te those default templates, and also how to create a standalone term that could be included optionally, or it could be included as a set of multiple terms that are included on different templates, for example, reusable terms here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to make that reusable term conditional. From our quote template, we have a section for our quote term, which is linked to content for our quote term. And we've created a quote term here that links to that content as seen over here in the details. If we want to use term conditions, we can go to the related area of the quote term and click on new. From here, we could use different fields if you have a custom field that you would like to use. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to use the fields that are available by default. So let's choose the net amount. Let's just say that we want to have those terms included anytime the dollar amount is less than $15. We'll go ahead and save this. And now with this term condition added, if I preview my document again, because the total is less than $15, we should see the total stay the same. we should see the term stay the same. Perfect, so our term is still here after regenerating. Let's go in and edit our lines so that these are, these lines add up to more than the $13. I'm going to remove the target customer amount, and then I'm also going to remove the additional discounts. All right, our total is already more than $15. So let's go ahead and save this. And now the conditions we keyed in for our terms should no longer be applicable. So if I click on preview document and our template loads, we should see this term no longer present. And the term is in fact no longer present. This is just one way that you can add in a term condition for a single term. You could have multiple term conditions if you'd like. So perhaps you only want these terms to show up if the net amount is less than a certain amount, but greater than a certain other amount. So if the net amount is between 15 and $20, then you want this term to display. I could add another term for that. And then when I go to details, I can choose if I want all of the conditions met or if I want any of the conditions met by controlling the conditional logic in here. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you in learning more about how to add conditional logic to a quote term with CPQ quotes. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.